Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are looking at this uh, dual band indoor access point uh, from Ingenious. This is the Fit 6 2x2 light. Opening up the box, here we have the EWS 356 Fit access point and uh, all the ceiling and wall mounts here as well. So at the top here, we do have the LED indicator. Uh, when it turns solid blue, that means everything is uh, working okay. And uh, looking at the back here, so this is where pretty much we have uh, the port. So we got the power and we got the LAN and then the reset there as well. So I do have uh, two of these and one is already hooked up in this room. And uh, a few key features before we jump uh, to the testing and the functions for this access point. Uh, the max uh, data rates for the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, we get uh, 574 megabits per second, while on the 5 gigahertz, we are able to get up to 1200 megabits per second. Transmit power up to 21 dBm on the 2.4, same on the 5 gigahertz as well. When we're looking at the range, we get the 5 dBi integrated 2x2 antenna here. If you have an internet connection uh, between 500 megabits per second to 1 gig, uh, this access point will work uh, very well for you in terms of uh, pretty much uh, getting uh, your download and upload speeds to where it would be ideal. Doing the local speed test, I was able to achieve uh, the 1200 megabits per second on both download and upload speed, which is uh, what they advertise on their website as well. And I know some of you will also want to see a regular speed test. Uh, currently, my internet speed is uh, 1.5 gig in download and uh, 50 megabits per second in upload. Currently the access point is uh, mounted like about uh, 10 feet away from me and I was able to achieve uh, 759 uh, megabits per second in download and 28 in uh, upload. And uh, when we're looking about the 30 feet away, I was able to get around the 631 uh, megabits in download and 24 in upload. And around 50 feet away, uh, I can see here minus 71 dBm. I was able to get around uh, 62 megabits per second and 20 megabits and uh, upload there as well. And uh, when you're putting these access points, usually you're putting these in a small business or if you're putting this in your home, uh, you would have Ideally, you would want uh, one in every room, if that's possible, or at least like in every two rooms, or anything like that, but uh, not too, too far apart. One thing I appreciated here is the ease of uh, setting up this access point and the app. Very simple, uh, plug in the power, and then we have the LAN PoE in here as well, and uh, scan the QR code, and pretty much that's all. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out the app here and uh, I will show you all the functions uh, you need to know. So you will need to get the Fit Express app here. So I already have the account set up and uh, I do have my other access point already set up in this room. First thing we see here, we have a dashboard. Here, this is where you're gonna see all your usage data. So the more it accumulates, all you're gonna see all the data here. Currently, I only have the one access point installed. And if I go under devices and this is uh, where we have the access point listed if i click here we can see here it has the green uh, so it is online whenever it's offline it's going to be grayed out so we got the model name and all the information here uh, the radio so currently i do have it uh, set at uh, 5 gigahertz i did disable the 2.4 but when i did the testing i did in 2.4 and everything worked out great and then we have a few options here. So this will kind of override all the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz settings. So if I go under network, we're able to choose from uh, 20 megahertz to 80. And I have it set at 80, which is network wide. And also same thing for the channel selection. There's a few options you can go ahead and select here. And transmit power, it's set at network wide 28. And then you also have the other options here as well. Uh, going down here, so we have activity. This is gonna show you some uh, real-time data here. And then we have a speed test here and connectivity test, uh, which uh, you can also do a custom ping as well here. So you're able to add that. And uh, live clients, you're able to see how many clients are connected and all that stuff here. 
and reboot LED lights, LED blinking, and view LED behavior. So this is a good one to have here as well if there's something wrong, if the light is flashing in a certain way, you're, you're gonna know what's uh, going on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump to Wi-Fi. So this is where you add your Wi-Fi name, password, and all that stuff. So security type, we're able to leave it to open, password, or radius. So you have those three options here. Or even you can go ahead and hide the SSID as well. And if you go under radius, uh, these are some of the options here. And uh, you're able to set all of this up with a portal and all that stuff. And if you go under more options, so we're also able to add a VLAN here. And then we have a network addressing. So we have a NAT mode and then bridge mode and custom DNS. And the bandwidth limit. This is a good one, especially if you have this in a business, you would wanna set some uh, sort of uh, limit per client or per SSID. So this is a great add on here. And if you click uh, see recommendations, it will give you like for HD streaming, live streaming, it will give you some of those options so you can see how much roughly to give each person. And then we also have a Wi-Fi scheduling. This is an, another great one, especially uh, during off hours for your business. If you wanna go ahead and turn it off, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then turn it back on at a certain time, just so no one is going close to your business and just wasting your Wi-Fi there. One thing I had to do right away here to update the firmware, uh, if you go under the menu here, click network settings. This is a, where we go ahead and upgrade the firmware. If you click firmware upgrades, if you leave it as is, it will go ahead and check it at a certain time. But uh, what I wanted to do since I installed it here, I wanted to check right away if there's a firmware to upgrade it right away. So you click upgrade now, it will go ahead and check if there's a new firmware and update it right away. It does take a few minutes, maybe like five, 10 minutes for it to upgrade it, but pretty much then you're all set. If your speeds are anything over one gig, I would recommend checking out the Ingenious Fit 6 4x4, which uh, the max data rates for the five gigahertz can go up to 2400 megabits per second and uh, 1148 megabits uh, and uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And also better range as well, as it comes with a five DBI integrated 4x4 antenna. And lastly, we got the 2.5 gig LAN POE port as well. Overall, this access point, uh, when we are comparing the price point and the ease of use, I would recommend it. I didn't really find anything that I didn't uh, like. Obviously, for my current uh, internet speeds, I would go with the Fit 6 4x4, which will get me the speeds that I want. Uh, one suggestion that I would make to Ingenious is to implement some uh, sort of option to sync with the cloud right away when, uh, whenever I'm making a, a change to the Wi-Fi settings or any other setting, instead of uh, waiting for it to sync to the cloud and it uh, does take time for it, around sometimes even 10 minutes or so. Or I have to go ahead and click reboot on the app to make the process go a little faster there. Other than that, everything went uh, flawlessly. If you have any questions about this uh, Wi-Fi hotspot here, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do any tests or any questions that you have. Uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.